We are live here in Jonesboro. Plenty to do in Tennessee's oldest There's town. There's so much to do and see. New Channel 11's Clarice Shaley takes a look at some of the must-see stops the next time you're in Tennessee's oldest town. People stop by the Old Town Pancake House in Jonesboro just voted best breakfast in the Johnson City Press in October. New owners bought the business in April last year and brought catfish back on the menu and used fresh fruits, but they say it's more than the food that keeps the customers coming. And uh, on weekends there are people lined up waiting for tables. I, I really think that um, we are welcoming to the customers and to our friends and I really think that we do reflect the heart of Jonesboro. Welcoming, giving, kind, loving. Historic downtown Jonesboro is filled with locally owned businesses. The Main Street Cafe has been a family owned business since 1982. There are several antique stores to visit as well. Another business on Main Street is the Lollipop Shop. The upstairs portion is filled with old arcade machines and the main floor with toys and candy. I think people of all ages, they have an appreciation for nostalgia and they have memories of going to a, uh, a local candy store uh, with, with their parents. So this is something that they can continue on. The International Storytelling Center calls Jonesboro home. The town is where the first National Storytelling Festival was held in 1973. It was the first of its kind then, and there's a festival still held in the town every year. Even as the oldest town in Tennessee, many buildings from its history still stand today, including the Chester Inn, the oldest commercial building in the town, dating back to 1797. Today, it serves as a museum, preserving the history of not only the building, but the town as well. This town's always had a lot of pride in its history. It's all about putting all that money and energy and love back into these old buildings to fix them back up so that, you know, people can still come in and enjoy it today. In Jonesboro, Clarice Shaley, News Channel 11.